do today in the name of Jesus Christ, the only hope for this world. It is uh, 46 minutes after the hour, and I am missionary Frank Williams. My wife and I are missionaries of God the Father in the Philippines, the all uh, mighty maker of heaven and earth. Uh, right now, scanning the news, uh, scanning the news and things that are uh, taking place around the world. And we're also going to uh, do a, a Bible study in just a little bit, a Bible study in just a little bit. But uh, right now, around the world, what is happening uh, over uh, in Israel? And I'm seeing a story here out of Sky News, Australia. Sky News, Australia. And it uh, is a report, and I've got the link uh, in the comments. And it says, there is an anti-Israeli wave based on disinformation acting Israeli ambassador to Australia is commenting here uh, the acting Israeli ambassador to Australia Jonathan Pilled says there is an obsession and an anti-Israel wave which is based on a lot of disinformation disinformation that originates uh, from Israel, Jerusalem, uh, disinformation that can have uh, world, that can cause uh, worldwide uh, uh, catastrophic events to be uh, set in motion. <clears throat> Back in 2001, there was... Uh, misunderstanding that took place on the Temple Mount and the and and some of the shaking that occurred uh, could f be felt in New York City yes on uh, September 11th 2001 yes uh, misunderstanding that started on the Temple Mount was felt just a, about three days later, just a few days later in uh, New York City when the World Trade Centers were came under attack from uh, civilian airliners that were they were hijacked uh, by people who had a they had a score to settle, and they flew them into the World Trade Center in New York City. It's been nearly—it's been almost uh, 20 years. <clears throat> in September, it will be uh, 20 years. Uh, so I've got the link uh, for that, and also I see a report, <clears throat> uh, and it comes also out of uh, Sky News or Seven News Australia and it says uh, Israel Palestine 2021 explained the cause of conflict today that's their effort to uh, explain to the uninformed uh, an unbiased look <coughs> of what is taking place uh, right now but uh, right now, things are spiraling quickly, seem to be spiraling out of control on the Temple Mountain. And as these things set up, uh, we see that here in the Philippines, uh, uh, the government has instructed those who fish in the West Philippine Sea to defy and to ignore the ban on fishing for that uh, area that was uh, given 
by China in <coughs> area that is uh, owned by the Philippines, claimed by the Philippines, and then maps of the Philippines going back a very long time, a very, very long time. So we've got the links of that uh, going on in, uh, in the background. You're hearing the Imperials. Imperials, I'll turn that down here in uh, just a little bit. But these things are uh, raging out of control. And um, what is taking place in Israel that's, that's got roots that go back centuries, centuries. But the most recent really goes back a little bit over uh, 100 years. And it seems to originate from um, the deception practiced by Great Britain. Yes, Great Britain. Uh, England, they uh, set confusion, confusion in an effort to uh, win, uh, to reach for victory in World War I. They engaged in uh, uh, deceit, deception. They made uh, promises to different groups of people different groups of people uh, that got out of hand because they expected uh, England, the British Empire, they expected them to deliver on their promises. Uh, however, um, well, the point that I'm bringing up is Jesus told us that uh, when Israel becomes a nation again, a sovereign state, tells us in Matthew 24 when the fig tree blooms. Fig tree is a tree for Israel. It's a national tree. I guess you could say that accurately. And that when you see the fig tree bloom, you know that summer is near even at the door. So with that, I want to jump a little bit into the Word of God, do a brief uh, Bible study, and uh, start with uh, John chapter 38. John chapter 38. Uh, I'm going to start with verse... 30. As he spake these words, many believed on him. As he spake these words, as Jesus was speaking, many believed on him. Now, a problem that we uh, face in this world is that there are some people who are uh, who, who there are some people who have been deprived of the Word of God those who have been deprived uh, with people who have never heard people that don't know anything about Jesus and why he uh, came into this world they they don't know anything about the Bible and uh, because they don't know, they've never heard, they're deprived, they've never heard, they have yet to make a decision. Uh, but when Jesus speaks, and when, as he teaches, and as he speaks, because he lives today, he has a miracle working power, he sits at the right hand of God our Father. I'm going to hold up my left hand so you can see because uh, for you it shows up on the right side of your screen. Uh, sits at the right hand of God our Father where he 
ever lives to make intercession for the saints. Yes, that would be you and me. And uh, then Jesus said to those Jews uh, which believed on him, if you continue in my word or in my teachings, then are ye my disciples indeed and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free but if you haven't heard the truth you are deprived in some cases uh, you've been uh, robbed of that opportunity you you have not had the opportunity to hear the truth but once you hear the truth, uh, it's time to make a decision. Now, no one ever, God never promises that you'll have more than one opportunity to make a decision. You may have more opportunities, but it's never promised that you'll have more than one opportunity. So when you hear you have an opportunity to believe the truth or not to believe uh, the truth uh, but Jesus says if you know the truth the truth shall make you free but if you don't know the truth uh, then you can't you can't uh, act on the truth and if you're not free you're in bondage bondage or slavery in uh, bonds or you're a prisoner because you're not free and you're a slave uh, to the lie and so they said uh, they answered him saying uh, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man how sayest thou uh, ye shall be made free well, that's not completely accurate because in the past they were slaves in Egypt. The world, yes, and after a 70 year exile, some were able to return. And uh, Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh, Whosoever commits sin is the servant of sin. Well, the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that there is none righteous, no, not one. When you read the word of God, you see that his standard is so high it's not attainable by human beings Jesus is the only one to successfully attain has successfully uh, hit that mark accomplished that and so Jesus tells us I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me so we know that Jesus is the answer Jesus is the way Jesus is the way he is the way the truth and the life he is the he says I uh, the thief comes to kill to steal and destroy but I have come so that you might have life and life more abundantly that would be John 10 10 so you have to know if you don't know the word you're more likely to make mistakes if you're not familiar with the Bible you are more prone to making bad decisions now, down through the years, 
down through the years there were many times when uh, only select individuals had access to the Bible. The Bible has only been available to the common people for a very short term, a very short time of uh, church history. So many people, they didn't have the Bible. They didn't have the truth. They didn't have access to it because people in power did not allow the common people to have copies. In fact, uh, sometimes, most of the time they were chained. They were chained uh, so that you couldn't steal the Bible. You couldn't run off with it. They were huge, huge church Bibles. You couldn't carry them big. Heavy Bibles chained so that you couldn't take it home. Many times the uh, Bible was not translated into a language that you could understand. So uh, people were easily controlled by people in authority and people who had... Uh, uh, power, might, they had prestige, they were leaders. So the common people were easily led into lies because they did not have <coughs> access to the truth. And uh, for many years, when uh, people did not have Bibles. They did, the Bible had not been translated into the language that they would understand. The first, uh, the Gutenberg Bible, the Gutenberg Bible that uh, was printed in uh, for the first time in uh, uh, fifteen, I think it was fifteen eleven, sixteen eleven. I think it's 15, uh, 1517, yes. 1517, thereabouts, I don't know. But uh, it wasn't available for the common people. Uh, Martin Luther, he had a copy and it was in, uh, he uh, translated into German. He was the one responsible for translating into uh, German and he uh, he had some uh, truth, uh, but there were portions of the Word of God where he hadn't done any deep study. Perhaps he just didn't get to that point where he could really pay attention and to allow the Lord to speak to him. But when you don't, sometimes people make bad decisions because they have bad information. And because people had bad information and were given bad information by leaders that did not give to them the truth, as they say in a court of law, uh, the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, well, people can only speak what they know, what they've been exposed to, so that they can make that decision. So we read in the book of Luke, we read in the book of Luke, in uh, Luke chapter 23, that as Jesus, uh, as Jesus was on that cross, there were also two other malefactors, criminals, led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they were crucified, 
and the malefactors, one on the right and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I am now persuaded after seeing in the word of God that sometimes people make decisions when they don't have all of the information. Sometimes peoples, governments, people in uh, places where they make decisions, uh, they don't always share that information with the people. And so uh, people make decisions and they take action based only upon what they know, what they uh, believe to be true. Our Father in heaven, he knows this. Jesus knows this. He knows the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And so people have made uh, bad decisions because they didn't have access to all of the information. People down through the years have made decisions because they didn't have access to the Bible. It wasn't made available to them. And uh, they trusted those who brought them the word because they were not able to read it for themselves. Now, brothers and sisters, you're at uh, an, you know, a great time in history. Most of you can read. And the Bible is available to you now. The Bible has now probably, most likely, been translated into your language so that you can know the truth. And the truth can make you free. Mistakes have been made by believers down through the years simply because they didn't have access to the Bible. They didn't have the education necessary to even be able to read. I mean, now the literacy uh, rates are good around most of the world. I know that there are some areas where people are denied schooling and denied uh, education. And so sometimes they make decisions because they don't have the information. They're not exposed to the truth. They've been deprived. Some people have great knowledge and they proclaim themselves to be wise and yet they become fools. Some people make decisions they choose to not to retain God in their knowledge. They don't even want him as part of the conversation. And so people are making decisions with incomplete information. They don't know. They're not aware. Uh, believers, for example, down through the years, not having access to their own copy of the Word of God and uh, not having the opportunity to read it and to study it, they were led to make bad decisions because they couldn't read it for themselves. Now, we live in a time when uh, many of you can read. Some of you have had a copy of your own Bible. Some people are satisfied just having a copy of the Word of God on their smartphones. If they've got their smartphone, they think they're good enough. But uh, your smartphone, the battery, the iPhone, it can go down. 
they have problems from time to time so it's a good thing to have your own Bible to have your own copy of the Word of God and if you don't have one I would recommend that you get one so that you can be aware of what is going on but many times believers they make bad decisions because they haven't taken the time to read the Word of God. Now, if you have a copy and if you've got uh, uh, money and you've got the wherewithal to, to go to uh, a store and buy a copy of the Word, uh, you're, you've got a responsibility. You're held accountable because you have the money. You have the ability to go out and get a copy and begin to study the Bible to study the Word of God this wasn't always the case in the past and so people were taught bad theology and people were not able to read the Bible on their own and uh, make their own decisions as a missionary uh, we like to make uh, Bibles available to people in the areas where we do campaigns. And sometimes we don't have enough money to make sure that everybody has a copy. So we make sure that when we preach and teach the Word of God, we many times use PowerPoint to project the word up onto the screen or onto the wall but it's much better for people to have their own and so many of you have your own but you don't read it you've got dust on your Bible I remember a few years back a country singer he was singing about dust on the bottle but many people thought he was singing dust on the Bible and he was singing dust on the bottle dust on the bottle do you have dust on your Bible I mean your Bible do you not take the time to read the word do you not take time to spend a little time with Jesus Tell him all about your troubles. Do you not take time to do that? Do you uh, not time take time to read? Do you not take time to talk to the Lord? How long has it been since you spoke with the Lord and told him your heart's hidden secrets? How long has it been? Since you took time to talk to the Lord, how much time is it? How long has gone by since you read the Word? You may be swallowing bad doctrine because you're too lazy to read your Bible and to know for yourself. Right now, all signs indicate that uh, this world is racing for a bad, 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 bad. The world is headed for some trouble, some perilous times, some dangerous times. Yes, the Bible tells us that in the last days, Perilous times will come, and they seem to get worse. If you, uh, if you blow out the candle in a dark room, the candle, if it's the only source of light, oh, it's going to get dark. Dark, 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 dark. When you don't have light, it's hard to see. world is racing quickly many nations are racing 
as fast as they can in the wrong direction. They're running away from God instead of to Him. While well, you're seeing in the uh, West Philippine Sea, the South China Sea, seeing reports uh, in uh, news, publications, that people in Australia, they're getting scared. People in Taiwan, they're getting scared. People in the Philippines, some people are getting scared. When they see 220 or more maritime ships from China taking all of their fish, yes. You know, and uh, telling the people of the Philippines, you can't fish here because we're not going to let you. This is our fish. Well, it's good for you to know. Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. Do you believe in God? Believe also in me. The Apostle Paul teaches us in Romans chapter 10. Starting about verse 14, how can they call upon him if they have, if they don't know anything about him? How are they going to hear about him? How are they going to believe in him if they have never heard about him? How? And how are they going to hear unless the message is sent? Who's going to do that? Lou's and I, we're, we're missionaries. We, uh, we've sought to, Jesus tells us to, he tells us to uh, go into all the world and make disciples. Some people are, they've forgotten. They think that Jesus sent them into the world to play politics. But no, to make disciples. That's why we have churches. Because when you make disciples, then it's good to teach. To teach the students. To encourage them. Jesus said to teach them to observe. you got to teach people. You gather them together. Then you equip so that they too can repeat, uh, repeat the cycle all over the world is spiraling out of control and we're racing toward Armageddon now Jesus has told us that you are children of the day and not children of the night you're children of the day children of the light yes You got to make good decisions. I encourage you to uh, walk with Jesus, to uh, to be a child of God. We're taught. Jesus teaches us, Gospel of John, chapter one, verse twelve. To his, he tells us that. That if we believe, if we trust in him, he gives us the authority to become children of God. That King James, it reads uh, sons of God. But if you're female, you're female. And uh, you have the same option. Yes. To become a child of God to those that Call upon his name. Call upon his authority. Yes. It says you must be born again. Yes, you can start all over. Second Corinthians 5.17 If any man or woman be in Christ, they become new. Old things pass away. Things become new. 
You can have the kingdom of God in your life. You can uh, reserve your place, but you can be a child now. You can be a citizen now. Your spot is reserved for you. Or you can decide that you don't want to be one of his children. You can choose not to believe. And the Bible says that um, if you die not having been born again, not giving your heart to Jesus, not being born again, not a child of God with the privileges, you'll have your spot, your part in the lake of fire. Bible tells us that we have an appointment. Yes, the Bible says that uh, it is appointed for for a man, woman, wants to die, and after that, judgment. But he. Uh, will appear the second time for those he, he has uh, cleansed of sin who have received that. And he is returning for those who look for his appearing. Oh, it's rich. The same Lord over all, regardless of your race or your nationality, the same Lord over all is rich he's good full of sugar goodness the bible we know he teaches he gives good things to his children yes i know people don't like that people don't like that but that's what the bible says he gives good things good fathers give good things to their children who can deny that we have a good, good Father? Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we take uh, your Word of God. We want to break it down so that people can more easily understand that uh, without you, we are hopeless, we are lost, that there is none of us who are righteous, no, not one, but through your Son, he gives us the way out. He gives us the right to those who will receive. Yes, if you want to receive, pray after me. Like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be that name. Your name is special. It's holy. I want your kingdom to come in my life and your will to be done in my life. Yes. Father, your kingdom to come and your will to be done in my life as it is in heaven. Give us this day Forgive me this day my daily bread. Let me come into your presence daily. We know that the supply is sufficient for his children. Yes, yes. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive me of my sin. As I forgive those who have sinned against me. I thank you, Lord, that you uh, don't lead us into temptation. You don't. You don't lead, tempt anyone with evil. But, Lord, we ask that you bless us because every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. That includes raises, newfound 
monies, checks in the mail, unexpected gifts, newfound monies. These things come from God. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. An extension, more time to serve you, healing so that we have more time to do what you've called us to do. Lord, to help us to identify evil. Help us, Lord, to accomplish things that are so big that when they're done, people will know, wow, that had to be God. Because Frank is not smart enough to do that on his own. It had to be the touch of God. Yes. And to you, Lord God, we give all of the praise, all of the honor, all of the glory, because yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, tomorrow, we believe we're going to have... Uh, people here to remodel this room they're going to lower the ceiling so it cost us a lot less to uh, so that uh, to keep it more cool in here the heat index here today was up like 106 Fahrenheit heat index and uh, we need to lower that lower the temperature lower the cost to do that uh, because we need more room it's urgent the people that want to come and help in the meantime if the Lord speaks to you say yes Lord I'll do that I want to help what they're doing, what you're doing in that ministry, that missionary work there, right there in the Philippines. And we thank you for, because it just allows us to stretch and to help and to feed those in distress more and more. We thank you and we praise you. Please hit the like button on your platform, the plus button, whatever you need to do on your platform. Uh, subscribe or join. That helps us to let you know uh, when we go live and uh, so that you can even watch it afterwards, later. Um, but share this with others. Yes, tell somebody, tell somebody. Well, we really appreciate you guys. And uh, it's so hot. Yes, it's hot. But um, I want you to know that in the lake of fire, it's going to, oh, there's not going to be any cold fronts no take advantage of the offers of jesus yes to be a joint heir with him we appreciate you guys may god uh, bless you and keep you allow his light to shine upon you May he give you peace that passes all understanding. Yes. Dios Libendega. Yes. May God bless you. Yes, you right there. Yes, you.